All right, today I'm gonna be putting in my headlights today. I am only gonna be putting in my actual headlights. We're not putting in the, the high beams. We're just gonna be putting in the regular ones, just for awareness. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. They have these, it's actually a pretty simple little setup. I bought these from AutoZone. But basically they have these little plates that go over that hold the headlight in. You'll see that these two ends are grooved to slide in to the bottom screws. You pull these two out, goes right in. And there's some alignment screws as well in here. Is right here, push this up, up and down, and there's an um, alignment screw on the side here that we can go in and out. Um, same thing with over here. I chose to go with the Sylvia, like they're a little uh, brighter and everything, uh, the ones I went with. Uh, what are they? Brighter and whiter light. Yeah. My other ones were yellow, so uh, this is definitely an upgrade from what I had before. All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver, put these in. Uh, the outsides are your regular lights and the high beams are the inside. Um, just so you have that as a marker. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the install. So it is a little tricky. What you saw me doing here was adjusting the screw all the way back to tilt it up. That way you had more room to get it in because you have to put these screens in first, like so. They sit on the two screws. Can I give you a closer shot of it? So really you want to sit the two, the, the thing in the two screws, dial this back, and that way you can fit the light in there. And you plug it in after you're done, really simple. And then you screw these two back in, you dial this back out. Now I don't know how my headlights are facing right now, I'm going to have to use a night test and angle them that way tonight. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this one done. And then I'm going to drive this down to AutoZone and get the two other headlights. They didn't have the two when I went in there the first time. Uh, I'm wondering if they have them today, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, last thing I have to do is just plug it in.
are plugged in. Let's see uh, how they look when they're on. I got headlights. All right. All right. So it is a few days later. I finally got these dang lights in. It took me a couple days for them to ship them in. I guess they don't carry them on stock. But these are the high beams for this car. So instead of just showing you the process again uh, with the magic of video editing, I'm gonna go ahead and um, click, it's done. Bam, okay, it is now done. So let's go ahead and uh, turn the lights on and see what they look like. Okay, there's those. Okay, so that comes to our next issue, the switch. The switch does not turn on our high beams. So we're gonna have to adjust that. Now, there are a few things you can do um, to fix it, which is, there's this rod that comes through and it's supposed to push and, and engage this button um, and actuate the, the high beams. Over time, I think what it happens is it just it gets out of whack and kind of pulls out. 99% of the time, that's the issue, and you just gotta you know uh, push the rod in, tighten it up, and then it fixes itself. Now I bought the part not knowing that that it could be the issue, thinking that I could just replace the little actuator. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into here and show you guys how to do that right now. All right, so I'm going to show you where this is at in relation to the actual um, the actuator, so for the headlight beams. So this, when you pull back on it, you can hear that it's not clicking. Okay, what this should do, it should be actuating the, he um, the high beams. What you can see is there's this rod right here. You noticed? It's not going in there. It should go in that little hole right here. Okay. What that'll do is push this actuator right here. Let's see if we can get our light. They should push this to where it clicks. So I just tested it and it does work. It is working, but this rod fell out. So we need to get that thing resituated back inside here and where it actually pushes it. And actually you can see whenever I pull on this, see how it's not clicking? That's the problem. And that is 99% of the problem with third gens is that's what happens. So it is a pain in the butt to get that all orchestrated and um, installed and uninstalled. So, when fixing this, you don't want to remove this whole thing if you don't have to because it is a pain in the butt. So there should be some eight millimeter bolts, I believe in here, that I'll slide this out. And that way you can slide that thing over it and kind of readjust it. Really what we're trying to do is get this switch to get closer this way so it actuates. So I'll work on that. All right, so there are two eight millimeter bolts in here. Let's see if we can see them. There's one right here right where my finger was sitting, right here. Okay, I use a ratcheting wrench to unscrew that one just a little bit. And then there's one right back here, right behind the unit itself. Um, you can kind of see it, it kind of sits right about here. And I use an extension eight millimeter to get that one. Now that this thing slides, how it moves um, it's actually in place now um, see how it slid back just now I'm gonna go ahead and scoot that up tighten it in because now it is working all right that's pretty much it just a eight, two eight millimeter bolts loosen do not remove the bolts just loosen it 
This thing is on the little slide thing. Tighten it down and you're good. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those right now. Now with the rod in there, and it working. This is the rod right here too. Um, that fixes that. And I've already tested it to make sure it works. And uh, you don't have to remove anything else. Just uh, loosen up those two eight millimeter bolts. Again, I use a ratchet wrench to get this one right here. And I used um, an extension with an eight in the back. I have a little wobbly bit on the end of this one just to kind of get it because the angles kind of around the, the cylinder shape in the back. You can kind of see it in the back there. Anyway, that's how you replace that or not replace it, tighten it and fix it. All right, so this uh, concludes my headlight video. Uh, I replaced my headlights, fixed my um, high beam switch and uh, that's all uh, there is to it. If you do like this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any other comments about the headlights, if you have any better headlights, let me know. Um, I wouldn't be mine. I wouldn't be opposed to switching to better headlights like HIDs or something. But let me know. Thank you.